Caution. Wear gloves when handling filters and samplers to avoid the transfer of moisture and cross-contamination. Remove the transport cap from the inlet. If the PEM was not preloaded, unscrew the PEM and install a filter from the Petri slide using tweezers. Reinstall screws tightly. Remove the transport end cap and install the PEM on the end of the Tigon tubing coming from the pump. Remember, a field blank should be collected for each sample set and should accompany the monitor during all periods except actual sampling. For more detailed information, watch our field blanks video. If performing PM10 sampling, place the sample in the area you are collecting with the inlet side up. Your pump should be set at 10 liters per minute and you should be using a gold-colored PEM marked 10 LPM. If performing PM 2.5 or personal sampling, attach the pump to the worker. Your pump should be set for 2 liters per minute and you should be using a green-colored PEM marked 2.0 LPM. Attach the pump to the worker's belt or pocket, either in back or on the side. Bring the tubing up and around their back. Use the tubing clip to attach the tubing in place along their shirt so it is not swaying away from their body. Clip the PEM sampler onto the worker's clothing in the breathing zone. Turn on the pump and record the time to the minute that you started the pump. Ensure that the outlet of the PEM sampler is connected to the inlet of the sample pump. The flow rate of the pump is calibrated to 2 liters per minute. Also, ensure that the sampler inlet is facing away from the worker. Sample for the time specified in the method. After sampling, turn off the pump, record the total time sampled, and remove the sampling equipment from the worker. Then, remove the filter from the sampler and place it back in the same numbered Petri slide that you removed it from. Now, perform a post-calibration, preferably in the same area you did the pre-calibration. Then record the flow rate on the pump calibration sheet. Then complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat 1-800-227-5278.